Parked our truck. My seatbelt's probably mounted and secured. Not worn, torn, frayed. Latches and unlatches. And is adjusted to me. We got three pieces of emergency equipment properly mounted and secured. 5BC uh, fully charged fire extinguishers. Three red bi directional reflectors in the back and extra fuses in the upper bin. My windshield and windows are probably mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. They are clean, free of all obstructions, no illegal stickers. My left mirror and right mirror are probably mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, clean, free of all obstructions, and no illegal stickers. They are adjusted to me from the outside. I will not perform a safe start by turning my, by putting my foot on the brake, transmission in neutral, parking brakes engaged. My ABS light came on and off, indicating that it works properly. My washer blades and arms are probably mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. They are not uh, dry rotted and work smoothly against my windshield as well as my uh, washer fluid. My water temperature gauge is built is in normal operating range and no warning light is on. My oil pressure gauge is in normal operating range, there's no warning light on. My voltmeter is digital and is in normal operating range, no warning light is on. My primary and secondary air valves are building to the 120, 140 governor PSI shutoff. My uh, left indicator light works. My right indicator light works. My high beam works. My four-way flashers work. My city horn works. My air horn works. My defroster works, both top and heater on the bottom. I'm now setting up for a tug test. I will do that uh, by testing my trailer brakes, by putting my foot on the brake, disengaging my parking brake, putting my transmission in drive, and feeling for resistance. I feel resistance, my transmission back to neutral, I'll test my parking brake by releasing my trailer brake, putting my transmission in drive, feel for resistance, I feel resistance. I'll now explain my service brake test by pulling forward five miles an hour, applying my service brake, making sure the vehicle doesn't pull left or the right, indicating uneven brake lining wear. <clears throat> I'm now setting up for my uh, lab test by building my air pressure to the 120, 140 governor PSI shutoff, waiting for the sneeze. My air pressure primary and secondary gauges have built to the 120, 140 governor PSI shutoff. I will now set up for my lab test by turning the vehicle off, turning the back on, waiting for my gauges to sweep with my valves built to the 120, 140 governor PSI shutoff. I will disengage my tractor uh, pop out valves, waiting for them to plane out. Okay, my gauges have planed out at 98 PSI. I will now uh, time me 60 seconds spans of time for my uh, 4 PSI. Make sure I don't lose more than 4 PSI in a 60 seconds spans of time. Would you time me, please? Go and hold it there. We're going to do the full 60 seconds. Just so we can get a total elapsed time overall. See, that's something we were missing with you all. We didn't do the full 60 seconds. Seconds. Yes. I did not lose more than four PSI during that 60 second span of time. I will now fan my brakes down for my low air uh, uh, visual and audible buzzer. There's my low air visual, audible, and buzzer at 55 PSI. I will continue to fan my brakes down to the 40 PSI for my uh, tractor and trailer brake pop out valves. Both my valves did pop out at 40 PSI. I will now perform a second safe start. 
Would you assist me in going out and checking my clearance for the marker lights, my left turn signal, right turn signal, high beam, low beam, four-way flashers, front of the tractor, rear tractor, rear tractor.